Hi YouTube, welcome back here and for those who are returning to this channel, it's good to have you back. I'm Shibabs and today we're going to see the unpacking slash review slash first impressions and even how to use the Bluetooth transmitter receiver ZF169+. Plus. We are going to talk about the parts, identify the parts and finally show how it works in the transmission and reception mode. <laughs> This product can be used as a Bluetooth audio transmitter to wirelessly transmit sound from TV and other audio sources to Bluetooth headphones or speakers. On computers and Android systems, supports direct audio transmission via USB without plugging in the 3.5mm audio cable. It can also be used as a Bluetooth audio receiver to instantly turn a wired speaker into a Bluetooth speaker. Compared to other Bluetooth devices I've reviewed, you can either connect via USB which is good cause you have power guaranteed and won't have to bother charging the port. And there are two included 3.5mm auxiliary cables to help with the audio. You can connect to your computer, laptop, home stereo system, headphones, smartphones, etc. Other specs you might want to know is, well, the pairing name is ZF169+, plus operating range up to 15 meters or 50 feet, power supply mode is a USB 5 volt. There are three modes in one in this transmitter. You've got the transmitter mode which wirelessly transfer audio from your non-Bluetooth TV or sound system to your Bluetooth enabled headphones or speakers. Second is the PC audio transmitter mode which wirelessly transfer audio from the PC to Bluetooth headset or speaker through USB port. And finally we have the receiver mode RX which wirelessly transfers audio from your Bluetooth enabled phone, tablet or computer to your wired stereo speakers or headphones. Identifying the parts on this device, on top here we have the indicator light. There is a switch which you can use to easily change the mode. You have the TX for the transmitter mode and the RX for the receiver mode. Also we have two ports for 3.5 mm cables. One of the ports is an RX mode and the other is a transmitter TX mode. As per charging the device, you don't need to. You don't even need to switch to turn on. Plugging the USB is all the charge you need. It's as easy as plug and play. We're gonna start with the transmitter mode. But before we continue, just so you know, you need a source of power for this to work. If there is no USB connection, it just won't work. To work in this mode, no need to power on, just insert the 3.5 mm audio cable into the input or output socket on the back of the ZF169 Plus in transmission mode. Plug device into your USB port and the other end of the cable into the equipment you wish to send the audio from. In this case, we're going to transmit audio from the TV to our headset or sound system. The red LED light flashes during pairing and stops flashing after pairing is successful. Last thing to do is set your Bluetooth headphones or speakers or sound bar to pairing mode and wait for the devices to connect. Make sure when you connect to a Bluetooth device, no other Bluetooth is turned turned on so there is no interruption. Now we're going to talk about the transmitter mode on PC. Transmitter mode will automatically search for other Bluetooth receiving devices such as Bluetooth headset, Bluetooth speaker, Bluetooth receiver, etc. No audio cable is required in this mode. And here you will always see a flashing red LED light on. So we are going to transfer audio from a laptop to a non-enabled Bluetooth wired sound system. Same case as before, no need to power on, just insert USB into the computer's USB port. The 3.5mm audio cable is not needed in this case, it's not necessary. Now you set the TXRX switch 
switch to transmitter mode, you see the red light flashing during pairing. It automatically starts to search for other Bluetooth receiving devices and it's always going to stay on after pairing is successful. Last step is to set your Bluetooth headphones, speakers or soundbar to pairing mode and wait for the devices to connect. Make sure when you connect to a Bluetooth device, no other Bluetooth is turned on so that there is no interruption. Finally, here's how to pair your device in reception mode. In this mode, you'll see a blue LED light on. Your stereo system must have both a USB port to power on the device and a 3.5 mm audio jack input. If it doesn't have a USB port, you can plug into any power source. For example, you can use a power bank or your cell phone charger. Connect the unit to the audio device with a 3.5 mm audio cable. Look for the pairing name ZF169 Plus in the Bluetooth settings of the phone you want to pair. The Bluetooth flashes during the pairing and stops flashing after the pairing is successful. I gotta have it. I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up. The ZF169 Plus is compact, you can easily carry it around. Personally, I don't like the integrated USB as you totally depend on a USB port for it to function. But hey, that depends on what your needs are. This might be a great gadget. But even though having a USB can be a disadvantage, the advantage there is that you have continuous power. It's not that you charge and then after a while, the Bluetooth stops working because there is no power. In this case, you don't need any additional charge. Hope you found this video helpful and it has given you enough information about the ZF169 Plus Bluetooth Transmitter Receiver. I appreciate your time watching it. Please let me know what you think about the device below. If you have any questions, also leave them down below and maybe you might want to share your experience also. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching and as always, see you soon.